Carapaz settled with its union for the period of 2013 to 2016. According to the company's CEO, in these challenging times, it's uh, in their interest to ensure that their employees are happy. Soini Gray reports. Marine Development Company Limited and Caribri Limited have reached an amicable end to their outstanding wage negotiations with the National Union of Government and Federated Workers. At the signing of the Memorandum of Agreement between the parties, the CEO of Caribbean Development Company, Ian McDonald, said they were motivated by their concern for the welfare of their workers. We were more concerned about forging a partnership with the union going forward. How much is this entire deal going to cost, Karen, at this point in time? That is... Uh that's, that's comp <laughs> privileged information that we, we can't. Uh, it, it's a significant investment, but it's an investment in our future. The 2013 to 2016 period is being heard at the industrial court. The case will now be withdrawn and the outstanding period has been settled at 16%. As for CARIB, they will honor the 13% agreement awarded for the 2011-2015 period for the monthly paid bargaining unit and add 13% for the weekly paid bargaining unit. As for the newer periods, an agreement has been reached to award 6% for the CDC weekly and monthly paid workers for the 2016 to the 2019 period and 8% for monthly paid CARIB workers for 2015 to 2017 and weekly paid workers from 2016 to 2019. The company was asked how they were going to afford the deal. And it's no secret the economy is difficult right now in Trinidad and Tobago, so it is, uh, it, it's important for us to forge partnerships with the union and work together to ensure the viability of our organization and our employees, their members, going forward. So how is this new agreement going to affect your bottom line at the end of financial Well, we are, we are more concerned about having an engaged, uh, unified workforce going forward than our bottom line. The union said they got close to what they had initially asked for. We, we settled at 16. Of course, it's a negotiation and uh, we would want 100. But the reality is that we would have to settle at a position where we, we don't commit suicide. You know, we don't want to kill the company, but at the same time, you would want your employees to have a fair share of the wealth that they would have been part, party to in terms of producing. And they said that their members were satisfied with the settlement. Sweeney Gray, C News.